Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, Clinical Director of Education and Technology here at Keating Dental Arts. Today we're going to do a procedure called an ovate pontic. Here's Kenny and he's actually missing the maxillary right canine. In the past he had a bridge, you can see from this photo, that utilized a ridge lap pontic. And traditionally, at least what I learned in dental school, we had two options. We either had a ridge lap that looked like you took a tooth and super glued it to the front of the ridge, didn't look natural or we did a saddle ponic. The problem with the saddle ponic, as it wrapped over the ridge, it created a concavity where plaque would trap and, and it wasn't healthy, very difficult to clean. So we're gonna actually create what we call an ovate ponic site. And then the laboratory will create a ponic that fits into this site. So we're creating with the ponic itself, not only the coronal aspect of the tooth, but also part of the root form. And the nice thing about this ponic It'll look very, very natural because it'll look like it's growing out of the tissue, like a natural tooth. But also, it's all positive or convex contours, like an egg, so it's very cleansable for him. So to create this site, we're actually going to use a diode laser. We're going to use a Picasso light diode laser. Now the Picasso is a soft tissue cutting laser. It's made by AMD lasers. Excellent, excellent device for this. As you can see, we see a little red beam. That is actually the aiming beam. That's not the laser itself. In fact, the laser is not even turned on. Normally, we'd use this so that we could see a little bit better, but because of the photographic purposes, I'm actually going to turn the laser beam or the aiming beam off. And you can see it's off there. Okay. So Kenny is numb. Again, the healing with the diode laser is exceptionally fast. His post-operative pain, in fact, the only post-operative pain you'll have are from the injection sites. You can see the little hematomas from the injection sites here. So with the diode, we do want to wear protective glasses. Um, Kenny has protective glasses. Jessica has glasses. Since I have my loops on, I'm going to use these actually over my loops. So when we're making a cut, we actually initiate the tip and we're going to use pretty low energy. Kenny is Vietnamese. He's got a lot of melanin in his tissue. The diode laser is attracted to dark pigmentation. So the more melanin, the lower the energy. So I'm actually going to start at 1.2 watts. And this is continuous wave with an initiated or activated tip. The way we activate that tip, is it over my loops, is because the tips come uninitiated, we're actually going to put it in a little articulating paper. You can use a Sharpie felt pen, you could use a cork. And what it does, it just puts dark pigmentation on the end of that laser tip, and then it'll focus the energy or focus the labor, laser. So let me know if you have any discomfort here at all. Mm -hmm. Now our goal with this, I want to envision exactly where that tooth would be exiting the tissue. So I'm very visual. I like to imagine I just extracted that tooth. Where would the hole be and what the diameter would be? It's not going to be facial. It's going to be in the center of the ridge. You okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is outlining the ponic itself. Again, keep in mind what the diameter of that root would be. So you can see the starting point. I'm going to bump up the energy a little bit. 1.2 watts is not that high. I'm going to go to 1.5. Imagine you're creating a little socket that a little egg is going to fit into. with the apex of that egg being dense center on the ridge. Again, low energy because the healing will be much quicker. 
and also the tissue will stay exactly where we put it. What we're going to do is then create a provisional that will maintain that site. The mistake I frequently see, not only with clinicians I've worked with, but also in the laboratory, is dentists will make this ovaponic site too small, so it really doesn't correspond to a root form. This is a touch laser. Typically I like to go about two to three millimeters deep. I want to go as deep as I can. What we do need to do is make sure that we have enough tissue between the apex of the ponic and also the periosteum. We need at least a millimeter. So I go ahead and probe. I'm about three millimeters, which means I can go two millimeters deeper, which will make a really nice ovate ponic design. And facially, I'd like to bring the zenith or the apex of that tissue up where I'd want that canine to be, which would be a little bit higher than lateral. So we look good there. Let's go ahead and take our periodontal probe. Again, we need one millimeter. We're at about two. I'm just going to clean things up a little bit. I like the depth. I like the diameter. We're then going to take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. This is just in a syringe with an alternate tip. And we're going to remove what we call the laser char, which is just that dark remnant of tissue as we lasered. Notice there's no bleeding whatsoever with this, which is so nice. Okay, go ahead and rinse, please. Go ahead and rinse. Going to just clean up a little bit more here. Okay, a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, and remove the laser char, again notice there's no bleeding whatsoever, go ahead and rinse, dry, and there's our ovate ponic. So our provisional will fit down into that site to maintain it, as I said there'll be no post-operative pain with that at all. Again, the diameter is such that it would be the root form in this particular canine. We want to make sure the facial portion is up where we want the height of the tissue. Then the ceramus, and we're going to do an all ceramic bridge here, will create a ponic that exits that tissue just like a natural tooth. So we'll come back when we're done and we'll have the opportunity to show you what that ovate ponic looks like and then as we put it to place what it looks like in the mouth. Next time you place a bridge, especially in the anterior, start thinking about designing the ponic and the tissue so that it looks like a natural tooth and, and it's cleansable and that's where the OV ponic comes into play. Again, the AMD laser, the Picasso light is excellent for this. Stable, no post-operative discomfort, very fast. Hope you enjoyed this episode on OV ponics.